Hi there, my dear ideal <laughs> wizards and uh, witchcraft woman. Yeah, hello everybody. What's going on here? Today we're gonna talk about uh, this kind of books, the Sorcerer Stone or Philosopher's Stone of the Harry Potter trilogy, or maybe seven logy <laughs> mythology thing yes let's join to it we will use our posters our harry potter and review of the philosopher's journey yes right now will be and first of all i I gonna talk about overall my opinion about this book i want to say that i read this book first time it is my first uh, expression first experience of reading but before I did some actions, I have done some actions like I watched movies, all movies I ha had have uh, watched it, and also I did. Um, what's more, it was uh, reading of a book called uh, Chamber of Secrets. Yes, it was uh, first, but it, it's not logic. Why am I doing it? But I also have this book, is Prisoner Azkaban. I'm reading it now. And uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, this book. Yes? Okay, let's uh, let's start to the our business of <laughs> business talk. Overall impression. My overall impression will be right now. It is, first of all, overall non-violence children vocabulary can find in this book if you want to learn a rolling vocabulary like you are not only <laughs> how to describe Dorsley by the way how to describe this uncle <laughs> how piggy porky or something like this you can do this yes it is non-violence vocabulary you can say like oh my gosh you are fat like a fat bus uh, and other words you can use, but uh, you can say porky, beefy, or maybe ready, and other words. It is uh, our masterpiece of GK Rowling. Second thing of uh, this book, what did I learn, and what have I learned, and uh, what, what this book is English helpful, because we can read it, and understand if you have uh, only low poor vocabulary. I am a Russian native person and I did not know all this vocabulary before, but I can understand because it is uh, so easy to understand because uh, we have uh, easy vocabulary. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> Easy vocabulary, yes. And uh, third, and uh, the most powerful, but not at least, yes, the book gives hope. It is about uh, we Dorsley living, yes. And about this uh, we will talk right now. Right now we're gonna talk about super main characters, because we were talking about uh, our... Uh, Expressions, yes, impressions. What did I, what did I feel after this? But right now I will talk about characters, because characters it is what makes our feelings, what makes our expression impressions inside of us. First of all, <laughs> let's look at this uh, greeny piggy. It is uh, no, he's not greeny piggy. He's, he's pale and uh, so blonde, uh, Draco Malfoy, and uh, he's a boy who so awful, so like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in Slytherin, <laughs> Maroon, yes, and uh, it is our antagonist character antagonist means that he's not good yes second person person it is our harry potter harry potter it is main character super main characters is super duper main characters number two yes he is harry potter it's a brave person with uh, this scarf and uh, in this book, I don't remember the scarf, because it is maybe some of the... I remember ropes, but scarf, I don't know. I don't remember it. And uh, he's a good boy. He's a really brave person. And he said in one moment that, uh, yes, I can be expelled, but I will get 
<laughs> I will get I will get S of uh, the Voldemort turret and uh, so I will smash it. Yes, uh, next girl, it is our uh, Dursley. It is our Harmony. Harmony Granger, our cute girl, all known girl, all known and super smart as fuck girl who really hates everybody. No, he is not uh, hates. Uh, he is not hating somebody. He is doing thing called I'm smart. I'm super smart and for other people, for another, I will close my eyes. Is girl Harmony. Next person, it is our... One moment. Eh, it is our Neville Longbottom. Levin Long Neville Longbottom. It is our character. I think that uh, he is main character character to super main. Because we have classification. Super main and mainish. Super main because uh, he is uh, so person who is a loser, but loser with brave heart. He is person who loser, but not really person who want to give up. He is loser, but person with uh, so strong morality inside of him. And uh, with uh, this longing to the success, I think that is super main character. Next super main character is our Ginger, our uh, <laughs> Weasley with Fackles, uh, or with Falcles, Falcles, this uh, ready super dragon red hair and uh, with uh, this interesting jumper with letter R. By the way, Harry has uh, one more with letter H, I, th I think so, I reckon. Next person, ah, about uh, Ron. Ron, it is uh, so... St st I don't want to say stupid, he is like a person with uh, a particular, particular uh, mind and with uh, always uh, hated surroundings of the family. It is not Dorsley's, it is hating like a... It is hate of the relatives. It is joked, joked, joking, joking surroundings, because he's always victim of jokes. Like a genie, but genie will be in the next uh, book. Next, Dumbledore. Dumbledore, it is our wise, super wise person who knows everything and all moral of the story you can read in the sentences of this boy <laughs> in advanced stage. Okay, next, mainish characters. Mainish characters about super main characters. It is person what storylines I think so important and so like a so good it is uh, the main yes maybe they are not fully what was well opened but in this book i think that they're key characters super key characters and uh, all things what you you can delete anybody in uh, in the book behind uh, these six people and book will be maybe 70% of uh, s same like it was. Next, mainish characters. Mainish characters is uh, all person of context. Context and all the more, uh, how to say it, uh, like uh, it is... Uh, in, in chemistry we have some of the reagent that makes uh, reaction more faster, like a super duper buff. And mainish characters, it is a person who makes situation more harder or more easier or uh, more funnier or uh, improves or these characters 
improve uh, situation of uh, feelings, improve our feelings, emotions. First of all, uh, first of all is Hagrid. Hagrid, uh, it is our uh, Jesus. I don't like his language in this book. He's speaking like uh, some of the immigrant in Russia, like a person from Azerbaijan or some somebody else. I I read it and uh, it was so hard to understand. One moment I will find maybe. It was err and uh, other sounds. Oh Jesus, I don't like it. But okay, I respect it. I respected Patronomid. And where is... Uh, I can't find. But uh, maybe I will find some time. Okay, believe me please. He is speaking not so clever, not so good. His pronunciation is uh, so low quality. But he is so kind person. He is super kind. He is always gonna help Harry. When he was... He is Harry. When he was lying on hospital wing, Hagrid went to him and said, like, oh, Jesus, what are you... Uh, how are you feeling? What's uh, new in your life? Like uh, this. Yes, uh, can I... Uh, can I change your pants or something like this? It is good character, really. Next is McGonagall. McGonagall, it is our teacher. It is teacher of fair. Fair. Fair in every situation. If you are... She's like a controller. She's like a manager. Manager who always think of standards. It is future of uh, Harmony. If uh, Harmony will not uh, break low. I think she is. Next, Snape. Snape is this our uh, person in first book who is uh, who is so suspected, suspected person who is like like uh, his main uh, not good characters. Maybe he is like a Voldemort. He wants to kill uh, Harry. He wants to do something else. But in the final, we will know that. Uh, he was so helpful. Quirrell. Quirrell, it is like a Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo-Doo, a thing. <laughs> when uh, we found these characters in the beginning, like a person who first and uh, so un uh, so y useless characters who is oh, so stupid as fuck, and uh, his uh, main not good character. He is a person who was adapted by Lord Voldemort. The person who you know who. Yeah, and uh, he is uh, not super interesting, by the way, character, but he is mainish. I want to say that he's not ever, <laughs> not even mainish. He's maybe second, second mainish character. And one more mainish characters. It is like a troop, like a tribe, like a tribe, uh, like from uh, medieval, yes, and uh, like a family of uh, god, <laughs> god of evil. Yes, it is so porky, so awful, plus uh, many kinds of uh, hate, hating. Many kinds of a portion of a super. I don't know how to describe it. It is like a piggy, porky, and also awful hating. It is uh, so anger, annoying, and uh, so. We have God, yes, and it is, and it is will be opposite word of God. Yes, it is. Our family of Dursleys, our <laughs> always crying Dudley, plus uh, always uh, claiming and dwelling <laughs> a person of uh, Uncle Vernon, and plus uh, this Aunt Petunia, who was 
who was uh, like a character who always uh, spying for the neighbors and always uh, rumors rumors everywhere <laughs> everywhere in this family and uh, dwelling complaining and uh, other kind of uh, not good person in this family it is one of the interesting parts in this book in the beginning if you will learn about it it is so funny to see to this family but it's so horrible to look at the Harry Harry are you alive or not after that okay <laughs> it is about our characters so what did I learn about our character that we have two different kind of is super main characters it's a six person and uh, mainish characters it is here also we have like a Fred and George plus Mrs. We Weasley Filch other it is second second mainish characters it is not really like uh, what i want to speak right now it is really interesting they are doing good job but in total they are so one person only useful in this book in this book not in the other in this book i think in my uh, in my opinion i like really fred and george so they are so cool oliver wood also oliver twist okay next it is will be more individual right now talk it is not about like i'm retelling it is about me my role model i want to say my opinion about uh, one thing what uh, did i found uh, what i have found in this book i really found uh, my uh, copy in this book it is uh, harmony yes with this character with these personalities i may be like a uh, harmonic why because uh, i thought that harmony it is uh, like a average girl a smart girl but in this book i opened for myself that harmony it is girl of um, she's all known and it's so annoying all known that so as fuck uh, as she is and uh, and in this situations of uh, learning about Harmony, I want to say that uh, she's really like my role model. I'm, I really like to learn you. I really like to share it for somebody. I really like to ask questions. And uh, what is not in my role model of uh, what uh, don't uh, I have in my role model? It is uh, closing eyes to the other people and uh, don't think about them but i want to say that sometimes i really want to achieve my goals uh, and i'm closing nice to the other people but if i want to, uh, to if i want to and if i want to long my goal yes if i want to long i will close but uh, in other ways i really op <laughs> opened for other people and it is good and I want to say why I think, why do I think that I'm uh, like Harmonicus? I really like to learn you. Yes, she's always uh, learning st stuff, always speaking in this uh, per 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 peculiar, peculiar, peculiar <laughs> language, so strange, weird, and uh, it is uh, so interesting. I want to say to be in uh, he, he's in your own world yes and I really like this uh, character next it is about book the two chapters I love the most right now I will talk about it first of all I want to check my timing oh my gosh need to go to the bed first of all it is the journey from platform nine and two, three quarters why do I love it because uh, we have uh, interesting journey of uh, with family like uh, Dorsley's in this platform. It is what I like. It is really what I like in this, uh, and uh, we can also introduce uh, our Weasleys in this uh, captors in it in this captor. I really like it. And second one, it is the midnight duel because it is not like uh, in your um, movie. In movie you can find this uh, chapter only for uh, only for doggy 
three-headed.doggy. But in this book you will find information about uh, more interesting things like uh, triumph, escaping, always running uh, somewhere else and uh, it is like, like a detective thing and uh, battling like uh, let's go fighting my dear <laughs> Draco. If you read it, if you did read, if you read it, you know what I'm talking about. Next, the bet of of characters. Bet betting. It is uh, like on the sports, on the some of the special things uh, which we can do some uh, emotion in this. Yes, and uh, in this book we have the bet of character. The bet of characters is. Uh, what on our um, if character will do something wrong or something right what he will last if he will be wrong and what he will gain if uh, he will be right in this book the main challenge is the challenge to not be expelled for example in second book no, in the seventh book or movie, yes, it's Deadly Hallows, it is to alive, to survive, yes? But in this book, it's the challenge to not be expelled. I learned it, I hope you understand what do I mean, because Harry, it is a non-wizard, first of all, he was, but right now he's wizard and he don't want to go to Dorsley again. He doesn't want to do this. He want to be wizard and uh, close eyes to the to the Dorsleys. Next, differences between the book and movie. And our next uh, thing, what I want to say, it is first, Dorsley are bar far terrible. They are super terrible <laughs> and uh, awful. You can read it. Harmony is super no all. Yes, no all, everything I know. I want to shut up you and shut up to you too and uh, Always listen to me. I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, how to say it is uh, raising my hand to the air. And book is more detective. Detective means that we have not more details. It is about uh, our detectiveness, uh, like who is killer, who is murder, who is our stone stealer, and other. Moral of this reading. What? have I learned the belief belief in yourself belief in your friends you can choose your own home it is about uh, when you are like a I'm always living in a not good situation I'm living in a dorm with a annoying roommate I'm living at uh, doors list and something else uh, and I don't like it and uh, you can choose your own home it is about uh, when you are going to school, when you are going to university, maybe you are going to the your lovely job. You can choose your home. If you don't like your environment around you, you can choose your own home. It is not home when you are sleeping. It is home when you have friends. It is about it. And uh, one more moral is uh, don't judge by the cover. It is about Snape, because Snape was like a... Su suspected person, but right now we know that he was so glad to help to Harry. Snape was trying to save him. Yes. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It was our uh, talking about uh, Harry. I hope you enjoyed for it. It was interesting. I I hope so. If you did, if you did enjoy. Please write in the comment section, it will be interesting to know. If you like this format of speaking with presentation, with these uh, slides, uh, please write too. And uh, what do you want more to know? Please leave in the comment section too, and I will talk. It was a small talk about this book uh, without so many spoilers. If you didn't uh, read, I want, to, I want to say that this book is less interesting than Chamber of Secrets, but it is too, how to say it, valuable for read. You can learn more vocabulary, you can be more smart, 
and you will learn more soulful moments. It is not so super soulful like uh, second part, but you will learn more like uh, characteristics of living life in your own terms, terms of friendship, terms of love and terms of helpfulness for other people. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed. See ya. Be cool. Improve so daily. Bye bye. And uh, leave in the comment section what do you think and maybe recommend something new. Bye bye.